Hi everybody, welcome, Yvette here. I hope everybody's doing well. As a design team member for the Piece by Piece, I bring you my Spooky Witch's Closet. And I've created this beautiful dress form using trim from the Piece by Piece. And um, let me go ahead and share with you what I've made. So this is a wall hanging, it's a Halloween wall hanging. And it's a little bit hard to um, get all of this in, in focus in my camera. So I'm gonna start by the top here. Um, this little hanging part, it's, it swivels, it's really cute, um, has some chain. I bought it at Michael's and it's from the Celebrated Collections that they have out there. And um, I bought it on sale, I think it was like 40% off, so not bad at all. And it comes with this uh, word underneath that says spooky on it. And I've hot glue gunned that onto my, my piece of um, corrugated cardboard and the cardboard that I used was from a regular Capri Sun box so all of us that have kids at home know that we have a bunch of these Capri Sun boxes laying around so I went ahead and I gessoed the back with some liquid text gesso in black and it turned out really cool it gives it this matte finish and the paper collection that I use is from the uh, Raven, it's um, Raven Head Manor, it's from Recollections, and that's the paper that I've used in the back. All of this has been distressed with um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, that is in black soot, it's right here, as you can see. Um, on the dress form itself, it's a Tim Holtz dress form, I've taken that and I've painted it with let me see this is my crayon leafing silver leafing pen and that's how I got this beautiful color back here as you can see on that it's really really cute here I've taken some uh, what is that some pearls and it's pearl stickers and that's recollections back here this is a Karen Foster pin and a bead and I have a cute feather back here and this ephemera I just got online and I printed it out and then distressed it with my black soot distress ink and here I've taken a rolled flower as you can see and it's on the side of the dress form and here is the cool part I've taken this beautiful trim from the piece by piece and I've added it here and the trim looks like this let me show you just beautiful trim I use this one and then I'll show you a little bit later but I've used two different styles of um, of trim and you can see it right there and then at the bottom I use the ultra fine tool for the bottom and I've taken uh, part of the birdcage at the bottom here and I've added that to my dress form just to elongate it on the side here, uh, it's kind of hard to make it out. I will have pictures at the end, like I said. But I have a cat which I've doubled up. And um, what I did was, this was one of those old Sizzix dies that I have. And I've taken Martha Stewart um, Onyx Glitter and added it all over the cat. And it gives us this beautiful sheen. Check that out, you guys. So the cat's right next to the dress form. Underneath here I have a bow and a cute little medicine jar. And I've got green and black glitter in there. Which's got to have her potion. On the side here I've taken these beautiful bloomer flowers. And you can find these at the piece by piece. And then I've added some bling in the middle of those. And here I have some skeleton leaves going on right here. And that is my wall hanging, you guys. Um, what else did I use? I told you about the gesso. And, um, yeah, and then here I used my um, Helmar 450 Quick Dry Adhesive to add this glass bottle. Because my um, hot glue, it was just popping off. So that, that didn't work that well. Um, that is my um, project as a design team member for the Piece by Piece. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for stopping by.